You know, at a certain time in your life, particularly when uh, you're in a hard time, you're pretty sure that self-reliance is the key to the whole thing. And then, you know, if you're lucky, certain of your life events overcome you, they overtake you. No? And there's nothing like a divorce to get your attention, really. I mean, whatever's left of you to get your attention. And, and um, so I had a friend of mine, he said, um, you might want to think about how money screwed things up, he said. And I was offended that of all the things that could have had some, you know, brought you low, something as without apparent consequence as money, uh, so I, you know, in spite of myself, I thought about it. I guess somewhere in there I started wondering about it. So I was living a, a kind of somewhat organizational and, and urban life. And since then, we've cobbled together this life here. One of the things that these animals are teaching you simply by being themselves is your sanity, your peace of mind, your sense of well-being. Where does it really come from? What does it really depend on? Money's not insignificant uh, to that story. It's, it's, it's right in the middle of it. I think the history of our torments about money are important to know about because you realize quite quickly that all our stuff around money is learned. It's learned. It comes from somewhere, and we very rarely choose it. How many times was the old biblical adage trotted out, like we've all heard it? Well, let people say, who've never read the Bible, will say, well, of course, money's the root of all evil. And this is a misquote of the actual phrase. It doesn't say that. And what the quote says is, for I tell you, brethren, that it is the love of money that is the root of all evil. It doesn't, it doesn't demonize money in the least, that phrase. So we have to know the history to know that you didn't even choose your prejudices and your disequilibrium around money. You inherited it. And if you learn actually where it comes from, that it's not inevitable, that it's not buried in, well, that's just the way it is, that's what money's gonna do. You know it can be otherwise. You realize you actually cut, grow capacity around this thing not a callous, a capacity. You know, in its way, the book is, is, is pleading for that deepening of, of courage, because that's what wisdom of this kind requires. It needs, it needs, it doesn't need inspiration. You gotta be courageous in the face of something that impugns you.